Hi, I'm Brian Cass, and I'm going to show you how to build a simple synthesizer in Reactor 6 using primary modules. Until you get to know all the modules by name, you're going to want to use the right-click menu, which will show you all of the modules listed per category. It makes them very easy to find. Once you know most of the modules by name, though, you can use the search box to call them up automatically. And if you follow along with me today, you can use the search box because I'm going to tell you exactly what to load up. So you invoke that search box by hitting the enter key. I'm going to load up a sawtooth oscillator by typing saw and hitting enter again. And that drops it right in there. I'd like to control these inputs for pitch and amplitude with my MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to add two more modules here, note pitch MIDI in and gate MIDI in. Note pitch will provide MIDI note numbers to this P input on the oscillator. And then the gate module will be connected to the amplitude input on the oscillator. I'm going to hook this up to my outputs and immediately I can play some sound from my keyboard. You notice this gate module is velocity sensitive. So if I hit the note harder, it will provide a higher number to the amplitude input, resulting in a louder sound. But otherwise, it's really just an on-off switch. Of course, we'd rather have an ADSR envelope. I'm going to call that up. And then my MIDI gate is going to go into the gate input of that envelope, and the output will then feed the amplitude input of the oscillator. This will allow us to shape that contour over time. I'm going to right-click on each of these imports and add a control for each of those parameters, attack, decay, sustain, release. If I look at the view properties of this envelope, I can actually make it visible in the panel. And then if I unlock the panel, I can move these things around a little bit. I'm going to make this display exactly 159 pixels by 40 pixels. I'll show you why in a moment. I'm going to hide the label. I'm going to move my release over here. Sustain. Decay. Attack. I'm going to change these names to ADSR just to clean that up. And now you can see why I use those specific dimensions for my envelope display. Shut off snap to grid so I can use my arrow keys and just line that up perfectly. Now I have a nice little amplitude envelope. Let's add a filter next. I'm going to call it the ladder filter. Output of the sawtooth will go right to that input. Output from the filter to my main output. I'm going to use that same note pitch module to feed the pitch input on this filter. That way it will follow me up and down the keyboard. But I'm also going to add a filter offset control by right clicking on the F input here. And I'll add a resonance control as well. Well, this is getting more interesting, but I know you want an envelope for that filter as well. So I'm going to copy and paste all of these modules. And this filter cutoff control should remain active. So I'm going to use both that control as well as the envelope. So if you add a multiplication module here, you can take that zero to one output of the ADSR. We'll drive that with the same MIDI gate signal and we'll multiply that zero to one by the setting of our filter cutoff knob. I'm going to select all these modules, tab over to my panel, use my arrow keys to move them out of the way. And now I have a nice little synthesizer. Can clean this panel up a little bit more now. I usually like to have an output meter to show my level. And of course you can get creative with this if you want. I could make this a horizontal meter. 
put it down here beneath the controls. Make it a little larger. You can change all of these colors. You can also save your own custom color settings. If you're like me and you want everything to be yellow and orange all the time. Clearly there's so many more possibilities for what we could do with the synthesizer now. We could add a LFO for vibrato or modulation of the filter. We could add multiple mode filter. We could add more than one oscillator. Or we could choose between different oscillator wave shapes. So much more beyond that. There's a lot of really cool possibilities with Reactor. So dive in and have some fun. Thanks for watching.